Disclaimer, this video is an analysis of a fight that happened and nothing more. Hope you enjoy. You, yo, yo, you heard about this Cosmos channel? Yo, where's this Cosmos channel? Yo, 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 what's up guys, I'm Cosmos. Today I will be reacting to Great Tala's video on G9. It has been since ages that people are asking Talal to 1v1 G9. So this video that Talal posted like I think a week ago or something that I, th I found very interesting. This video in particular is very interesting because finally they can have their 1v1. And let's see what happened in this fight and just let's see what they will do and who will win and then why the other won and why the other lost so we will watch this interesting interaction let's go anyways and they, he, she's showing some of the people that are always telling him you're a ganker you cannot 1v1 you oh 1v1 him oh please you don't know how to to play you only do expo okay man everyone can play the game as he wishes if you want to gank gank if you want to be a duelist Play as duels. If you want to invade, also invade. We have no issues. I have no issues with, with with this stuff. But what is happening? Why did he want to sever out? It's it's not a gang. It's a one v one. What are why are you severing? Then he goes on and tells that these people are thirsty. These people don't know how to play, bro. You, you severed out in a one v one. You were alone with this guy. Why did you sever out? I don't know, man. It, it feels very weird. I'm sorry. It feels very weird. For the G9 fa fans, for the G9 followers, I mean, ha I mean, G9 is a good player. Everybody knows that G9 is a good player. But man, the guy severed out in a 1v1. Why did you sever out? It was not a gank. It was purely 1v1. And and you invaded. Don't, ex don't expect that you will buff or don't expect anything. You invaded, just go on. Start the fight, start the duel, switch to another weapon, duel this guy, whatever. And guys, here I'm talking without a script. I'm just providing you with my direct commentary and direct opinion on, on what is happening in this interaction, this interesting interaction. Like, this interaction, this fight, this duel shows that, that these streamers, this D9, Bro, there is no excuse for you to sever out in a 1v1 except that you don't want to look bad if you lose. The issue here is, man, like even if you lose, it's okay. It's okay. If you lose, it's okay, man. Chill. No one is gonna destroy you. No one is gonna cancel you. No one is gonna discredit you. You're a good player, okay? But this does not look good for you. When you severed out, it does not look good for you, man. And I'm very curious about the reason why did you sever out. I'm very curious, man. There's no excuse. For me, there's no excuse. You invaded. He, he came at you alone. 1v1. You jumped over the fence. And then you severed out. And the problem is you, you were caught while you severing out also. So, so you were thinking about, oh, should I duel him or should I sever out? Oh, oh my God, I should sever out. That's what's happened for, with you in, in this 10 second interaction. I can hear him in the video. Okay, I can hear, I can hear G9 in the video. The problem is, this is an, an, the problem is this guy does not admit. G9, why you always, when you lose, you have an excuse? Oh, there's that. Oh, I severed out because I did not have my physics. Oh, I severed out because it was a meme build. Bro, I always deal with meme builds. I'm making a video about a meme build and dueling Colosseum 125 with the sweaty tryhards with, with, with people who just want to disrespect you. I'm, I'm playing with the meme build. The meme build and I'm blasting these tryhards right and left. It's okay. And, it, and if I lose, I will admit it. Oh, I lost. Whatever. The problem with you, man, is that you don't admit it. Which I find very weird, man. Like you severed out here, then later again in the video, something big will happen. 
then in the co- uh, guys I'm 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 not I'm not attacking him without proof in the video he's saying that these guys don't know how to play these guys are trash at 1v1 then what what are we seeing what are we seeing is him severing out in a 1v1 what's the excuse oh he has what what grease bro you are using what grease you are using bleed grease you are using every grease in this world man just to win severing out is okay if you are getting ganked this was not a gank just for everyone to know i'm not saying g9 does not know how to play g9 is a bad player g9 woo woo wee wa we goo goo gaga bro everyone knows g9 is a good player even great talal even great talal has said it before that G9 is not a noob. No one is saying G9 is a noob. But why G9 are you severing out in a duel versus your enemy? Why can't you just continue this fight? It would be interesting to see you try to win against someone like that. Like bro, I have to emphasize on this point. Like why did you? Why did he sever out? That's that's my issue here. We. So he invades again from here and here where the juicy part is. The juicy part is here. The real 1v1 is here. He already lost the one before because if he sever out, it's considered as a loss. In a 1v1, it's very humiliating to, I mean, PvP wise, very humiliating to sever out. Some people would even just lose to a gank and never sever out. Because it's, it looks so bad, man. I mean, gankers have their fun, have their laughs at the ones who sever out more than the ones that are getting ganked and losing by the hands of ganks. So, what I want to say is, I have, I have said it before, that streamers don't like to play with good players. As you can see in the video, that G9 try to 1v1 Great Talal and Great Talal is a veteran in the game like the, the, the guy the guy plays the game since Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, Elden Ring and as you can see people don't want to 1v1 Great Talal like G9 or other players I think for me I think it's because like they are afraid to lose man they are afraid to lose they are afraid for their reputation and I feel like that is not credible. Like you are posting titles like deathless streams, one hour deathless streaming. Then when it comes to a real duel, when it comes to someone that you know, what are you doing G9? You are severing it out. And these streamers, G9, Sivoski, these people, if they lose to a good player, immediately blocked. I'm not talking about ganks. I'm talking about even 1v1. <laughs> if these people lost to someone who is good at the game, even a random guy, they will block him. Immediately, they will block him, man. Because they are afraid for their reputation. It's a business. You, are, you, are, you think it's a game. <laughs> it's a game right but this guy live off the game this guy make monetary gains from the game that's why they don't want to lose i understand this part and yeah they will block you they will block everyone man 25 people in one day blocked and it happened recently because someone lost because the streamer lost to a duel against someone who knows how to play not your regular average Radan player in the streets man in the streets of uh, Landale man no when they face off a great player they will immediately block him man and I'm giving you this the truth and you should know that you should know about this yeah now the juicy part of the video the real 1v1 I'm not talking about the server out it really happened great Talal and G9 now with 1v1 in a duel and let's see and analyze what it oh my god he's coming in very hot 
jumping in straight. He's feeling himself. He's ready to duel. And he's buffed. Okay, what is happening now? Attack with the colossal weapons is now meta, guys. It's a very optimal setup. Using the crouch attacks is like using the PSGS in the previous patch. But great Talal. Nah, bruh. He's fat rolling. Let's stop here. Bro. What is happening, G9? You were alone. And you were ready. And you were buffed. And you were using the most optimal setup right now. And then losing in a matter of, as per Talal, 10 seconds. A beef of 10 years. Summarized in 10 seconds. Like, this is, this is cinema. And this duel just made history in the history of PvP on the rink. The issue, guys, please. I'm just addressing an issue that I'm seeing and I'm sick of it. I'm sick of seeing this issue, man. Streamers downplaying the reality of things. Like you are saying these people are trash, these people this and this and this and using the most ill language. Then when you really face off someone like, like these players, then you lose in a matter of few seconds. Man, G9, I don't know. I don't know, man. I think people should open their eyes. They should, they should open their eyes, yeah? And just open their minds a little and see that whatever they are saying in the streams is not automatically truth. It's not automatically right. Like, bro, they, they are saying they are people trash, these people, this and this. But the, the reality says otherwise. And there's proof. And you lost with the optimal setup. Don't call it a meme setup. You can one shot everyone with two hits of your setup. It's not, it's not meme. You're fat rolling. It's not a meme. Fat rolling is not a meme. It's a miscalculation. You are not complaining about fat rolling when you are invading other people. Now it's an issue for you, fat rolling? Isn't it a miscalculation by your side? Maybe you're too busy swapping to talismans stuff and did not put your the right talisman, then now you're fat rolling and then you get caught by uh, combo pataman in the abdomen. So the issue here, man, with G9, I will summarize this and I will conclude. Now his the, the duel is done. The deed is done also. He lost in a 1v1. It's apparent. Everyone knows now. Please guys. It was a 1v1 and he lost to a 1v1. And I I can I cannot emphasize on that even more. It's very clear. I don't have to show anything. But the issue is that G9 never admits his losses. He will always have an excuse and this does, did not happen with G9 alone. Before it happened with one guy that he said, oh, trash net. And then again, another guy, oh, there's too much slat with this guy. Oh, bad players, spam, other stuff. Then you got great Talal and he's saying now fast rolling. This is a miscalculation. This is a skill issue actually. Fat rolling, man. Are you a noob G9? No. So why are you fat rolling? Anyways. Oh my god, man. Then then again, he never we said that he never admits the losses. He downplays people and underestimate other people and just spits out pure untrue words about others saying that they are trash saying that they don't know how to 1v1 i have said it before some gankers are very good players they just want they just gank just together around just to play together only that and for them it's fun then again g9 has a big following and this creates 
a very toxic environment where if someone loses he does not admit it and then it becomes a never-ending cycle of toxicity yes if Gina just admits the loss if Gina just says oh GG great Talon or just uh, releases a comment releases something saying addressing this uh, file giving giving credit to Talal or giving credit to anyone who has him beaten then it would be all right from my point of view there would there wouldn't be an issue yeah then again severing out severing out in a gank is okay but you were dueling so actually it's two losses anyways so that was the video guys i just i just thought it was very interesting to comment over this fight especially okay guys i have to go and everyone have a good day or a good night and see you in the next one the outro one two Hi. Join me in this adventure, adventure. We grow in forever brilliance and magnificence. And magnificence.